good afternoon and welcome to the channel. Welcome to Ola and Community Church. My name's Harry Gwinnett and I want to talk to you a little bit today about learning, about how we learn together, how we learn from each other. And that makes me think about my school days. Now, I must admit that my school days weren't the best in the world. Um, I think subconsciously I try to block out those particular days because to be quite honest, I can't really remember much about them. But I do remember primary school and I do remember Friday mornings because every Friday morning we had a maths test. And the fact was we got this maths paper and we all had to sit in a hall similar to this one. We all got the maths test with about 20 questions on it. And the fact was that you could go for your dinner once you'd done your 20 questions. And um, about 20 minutes or half an hour would pass. And then most of the class would have started to get up and hand the papers in and go off for the dinner. And then another five minutes, a few more would go and another five minutes would pass till eventually there was about four or five or six of us still sat in that hall. And you know, I'd write anything down on that piece of paper just to get out of that place. I wasn't really bothered what I wrote on that piece of paper. And, uh, and I, you know, that was just a problem to me. And um, I learned over the years, or I have learned over the years, that I don't think I was the problem. You see, I think the the system was the problem, the teachers were the problem because they, you know, they didn't really do it in the right way. You know, that would never happen today, I must say. You know, what's the point of testing somebody when you've not taught them right in the first place? But quite often, you know, when I look at life, it seems to be that way. Life seems to throw us some curved balls sometimes, doesn't it? And um, we don't always understand what we should be doing and I see it's the same in the Bible too you know there was guys called the teachers of the law and quite often they would like be saying do what I say and not what I do and these were hypocritical guys they were judgmental and I'm sure that these are the sorts of people that would be judging me while I was trying to do that maths test but you know when you look in the Bible you see another guy a guy called Jesus, and Jesus was so different from the others. And to be quite honest, his teaching was so simple because he teach by example. And I really like that. I really like it when, you know, people teach by, by actually doing. My father used to teach me, you know, I'd follow him around as he was working in his little workshop in his garage. And, uh, and I'd learned so much from him, and I think it's just like that. That's how apprenticeships work, isn't it? Where people learn from other people. And I think, you know, Jesus is the, the best example of what we can find. Just listen to this song by a guy called Christian, and I'll come back to you a little bit later, and I'll talk a little bit more. And I've seen so much I've learned a lot from various people I am thankful To know what I know I am grateful To be what I am But I've come to one conclusion Jesus Christ is the best teacher That's why I sing Situations in life 
Sometimes very hard Full of tears I am thankful He has caused me to grow I am grateful Trials are precious Don't go But I've come to one conclusion Jesus Christ is the best teacher That's why I'm singing Best teacher, Jesus hey. Christ is the best master. He's the best master. song is so simple but yet so meaningful because I'm with Christian I think this guy called Jesus is just a great teacher uh, because of the simplicity on the way that he used to teach people you know really really simple he used to tell stories and he used to do stuff and uh, people used to used to watch him so a great teacher and there were great apprentices that used to follow him around you know, this week we've had pancakes on Tuesday. I don't know whether you had pancakes on Tuesday. It's not a thing that we normally do, but this year we decided to do it. So pancakes on Tuesday, and then the day after was Ash Wednesday. And um, I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, I didn't really understand what that was all about. Um, I understood that you had pancakes on Tuesday, but I didn't understand this Ash thing. Um, I thought Ash was something that you ate, you know, like, um, potato ash but again over the years I've learned a little bit different and uh, this Ash Wednesday that I talk about starts a period of 40 days where people often give something up and it's called Lent but to me I'm not sure about giving stuff up um, you know some people give up chocolate um, some people give up beer some people give up wine some people might give up cigarettes and it's I suppose they're all good practices, you know, to give things up for a period of time, but we have to think about why we might want to do that. Why would you want to give up something for this 40 day period? But, you know, I look at it a little bit differently. I'd like to give something out rather than give something up. And I've got these little books called Live Lent. And um, it's a really simple book. And, um, it takes us through the 40 days of this period that I'm talking about. And um, each day, there's just two little pages to read. Um, a little story and a little light reflection. And it takes you about two minutes to read it. Um, and they're on really simple subjects, you know, about being vulnerable. We're all vulnerable at times, aren't we? It's about, you know, never being alone. There must be times in your life where you felt really, really alone. And about who are we? You know, who are we? It's a big question, isn't it? So if you want one of these little books um, to follow the story of 40 days, to live Lent, um, don't give anything up. Just receive something from us. I'm, I'm going to put the numbers on the screen. I'm going to put my 
text number on the screen. So if you want to book, text us or email us and we'll pop round and we'll drop you a little book off. Um, and we'll learn together because that's what, that's what life is. It's about learning something new together. So let's see if we can learn something this Lent together about who we are and about who we are in our community. Shall we pray? I just want to pray for us right now. Father, I just thank you that we have the privilege to be able to come together on a Sunday over social media to be able to connect with each other. And, and I just pray, Lord, that through the next 40 days that we are going to learn something new uh, together about ourselves and about you. And I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.